Hello and welcome to a little informative video from Larkcraft. It's always a good idea to have a nice place to warm up if you're going to be doing LARPing in the wintertime or maybe even outdoors during the spring or maybe even the fall when it can get a little cooler outside. As of right now, it's actually quite cold. There's a couple of feet of snow on the ground and after a hard day of fighting, pillaging, and killing, it's good to just have a place to come to to warm your feet up. Isn't that right, Kelvar? Indeed. Now one of the things you might want to consider is where you are actually hosting your events or where your event is located. Maybe you can't have campfires. Maybe you don't have any shelters. Promoters really need to be aware of what they're going to uh, be doing and how long the event is going to go because people will get cold, they'll get hungry, thirsty, things along those lines. So it's always a good idea to make sure that you can have some place to warm up if you're going to be out there during the cold months enjoying the sport. Now if you are going to be uh, enjoying the sport of LARP while you uh, are in the middle of winter or during a cold period, uh, always make sure that you are prepared for it. You want to wear layers, you want to wear multiple socks, things along those lines. Maybe the long John underwear underneath your, your, uh, your costuming, your garb. Uh, your summer clothing just isn't going to cut it. Uh, yeah, you may have a big gambeson on, but still, it's going to cut right through it. So you want to make sure that you have layers on and you have the proper winter clothing on in those layers. Another thing to consider, if you are allowed to have campfires at your particular location, you need to make sure that you can bring firewood in because if you can't, you may have to purchase it on site or you may be able to work something out where you can just pick up the dead wood that is on the ground and use it in your campfires. So it's always a good idea to ask and make sure whether or not you can or cannot bring in your own firewood. Another thing that you may want to consider doing as promoters and elders in your colony is coming up with some kind of action plan. This is in case somebody would get hypothermic or possibly even frostbite if you are holding events in the cold of winter. In this action plan you may want to put in there the uh, signs of hypothermia uh, the signs of frostbite, uh, things to recognize in case you have to treat these people before uh, medical attention can be brought to your colony for them. This is Ronan, bringing you a little information about cold weather LARPing. We will see you on the field. This is Keldor, listening to Ronan talk about that stuff. This has been a... What is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is me rambling, and I will just continue to speak. And take it away, Keldor. This has been a LARPcraft video about... This is Ronan, bringing you a little more information about cold weather LARPing. What about me? This is Keldor. Now he decides to speak up. We'll see you on the field. Cold weather LARPing. Are you guys cold weather LARPing? Why, yes, yes we are. Yes. Isn't that dangerous to be around the fire? Yes. Not if you're properly trained. You're sashed, right? Of course. Mm, yeah. This is Ronan, and this has been an informational video about women. This is Ronan, and this has been a, an informational video about, uh, what was that? Hypothermia. Cold weather LARPing. Cold weather LARPing. Cold weather LARPing. There we go. Go.